There really ain't no real law. There ain't no real law. <laughs> That's why these folk run around doing what the fuck they want to do. That's why they do what they want to do. See, the real law is the word of God. It's the word of God. It's whatever come out of his mouth. Because he God. And we just done wrote the stuff down, you know. And uh, from, you know, generation to generations. And we done wrote down things that God wanted us to write down in the books. But the law come from the Holy Spirit. It come from God's spirit that's in us. So God was telling me, Andrea, you not guilty, man. These people got you in here charging you with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, child endangerment, child negligence, dispersing a weapon in a public place. And God said, she ain't guilty of nothing. And they was back there being evil, holding me and this baby in the back of that motherfucking jail, trying to go against the most high because Jesus Christ he gives the verdict. That's why Pastor T.D. Jakes, he said in that book, he said, if you're going to plead something, you better plead the blood of Jesus. See, the white folk want you up in there pleading. Ah, I plead not guilty. I plead guilty. I plead not guilty. I plead the filth. I plead no contest. That bullshit. I plead the blood of Jesus. I don't give a fuck what I'm being charged for. If I did it or not, God is the judge. Now, that's what they don't want you to know. Because, see, they're going to try to make you think that that judge that's on that fucking bench, white, black, Hispanic, male, female, Italian, don't matter what your ethnicity, what your background is, they not the ultimate judge. I don't give a fuck how many niggas they done sent to jail for hundreds of years. They don't really get the verdict from the jury. I'm so glad that I was not judged by my peers because... After I got to know my peers after this situation, they are corrupt as fuck. And I wouldn't even have wanted to trust my life in their hands to make no decision about my life. You know what my peers did to me? They poisoned me. They starved me. They lied about my pregnancy. They tried to sex traffic me and then tried to call me a prostitute for taking control over my own goddamn life and body. That's what my peers did. So, I would have been fucked up if my peers would have judged me. Because they hid a lot of the evidence and it's still hidden right now. I have my own damn family like, oh, throw away the motherfucking key. Throw that bitch under the jail, huh? Punch her in the stomach, kill that baby. For some fucking white folk. Tell you something else. God said when I was back there, God was angry. God was fighting their ass. God was like, Andrea ain't guilty. Only reason why y'all got her in this cell because she got brown skin and curly hair. Yeah, they're going to talk that shit talking about, oh, you heard somebody. God said she, I was protecting myself. And until you got somebody constantly abusing you, running up on you like a wild animal in your goddamn house every goddamn day, don't you motherfucker tell me shit about what I can do to protect myself and my child. Ain't nobody finna be running up on me like no motherfucking wild animal, like a deer, like a fucking, what you call them, rams and shit, them fucking goats. Nigga, fuck you think this is. You ain't finna keep hitting on me. And everybody from my hometown, Chicago, I already know what time it is. And God told me to tell y'all I'm from the south side of Chicago. And you ain't going to keep on hitting on me. See, I was out there in Texas with them girls that get uh, their eyes all busted up by a nigga. And then they be running around like, oh, he bust my eye high, bitch. Am I still cute? Fuck all that, nigga. And then going to run back to his ass. And then they think, oh, I'm going to sit back and let my baby daddy be abusing me? Hell no. And God told me, you, you from somewhere totally different. You, I'm, I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia. But I was born in Chicago. And I got a lot of that shit in me. And God said, he said, you tell them folk. And this is exactly what he told me to say. I'm from the south side of Chicago. Okay? And y'all may not know about the south side of Chicago. But that's where I'm from. And where I'm from, if you keep on hitting me, and I done tried to get you to stop, I'm going to pick something up. 
And I know you're going to throw me in no goddamn jail cell. And then tell me. I'm going to jail for no goddamn 99 years. Because some white boy keep on fucking hitting me. And y'all black girls, y'all hate y'allself so goddamn much that you gonna come trying to attack me because I got a baby by a white man. You hate your skin that fucking bad? Because I'm your sister. And that white man was abusing me. Fuck you mean. But y'all want a light-skinned baby so goddamn bad. So goddamn jealous. Because I had a white man. That you want to come trying to hurt me because I don't want his ass. I don't want him. And I don't give a fuck what he done did with his life since the, the situation. Because that's what this is about. That's why everybody trying to drag this shit out trying to hurt me because I don't want his ass. Give me my baby boy. And he could take his sorry ass back to that motherfucking prison. Because he going. Hell, I done had to use a whole damn weapon to defend myself. And they still think I don't got the right to press charges on the man that I had to fucking protect myself from. I sat in the fucking jail cell for 10 months fighting them goddamn charges. He going to fucking jail. And y'all gonna give me back my baby. And I really want to restrain an order from everybody that tried to keep him from me. Because y'all know this is severe. And y'all know that Austin was abusing me. So you want to try to keep my son from me, bitch? Soon as I get him back, Cynthia, Joseph, he better be alive. Y'all ain't gonna see him no more. What judge would want to know his mother was abused? And y'all sat over there trying to keep the boy from me. Yeah, that's how that white supremacy shit bullshit work. But you ain't God. Y'all ain't God. Y'all white folks is not God. Ha, ha, ha. Go back to Revelations. Then come back and tell me what color God is. And if you done took my baby from me and then you want to lie about shit, about my pregnancy and my case, fuck all that old Andrea crazy, all that. You ain't seen motherfucking crazy. Because I said I want my son. He the reason why I went to the fucking jail in the first place because Austin was attacking us. I want my baby. And they know I got to get no job. I got to do this for you. Let me go back to the verdict. I was a stay-at-home mom from the jump, bitch. God said I qualified for benefits for me and my son. So I ain't know I got to go earn this and earn that and earn none of this. Earn That's bullshit. You using litigation abuse. You abusing somebody that already 